Hi guys, Victoria Lily Schaefer here. And for any of you guys who have been following along, my videos are usually tips and tricks, funny, quirky, cute puppy videos. But today I am recording a video that I have been procrastinating speaking about for at least a month because my puppy Callaway, who was two months old when I met him and three months old when he passed away, uh, passed away from distemper, which is probably the most relentless, cruel, worst virus disease I have ever seen in my entire life. I have actually had a lot of experience with distemper working in rescue and for some reason this hit different. It was a strain of distemper that is harsher and worse than any strain I've ever seen. Distemper is a virus that unvaccinated, mostly unvaccinated dogs and puppies get. Now a puppy such as Callaway can be born with distemper if their mother was exposed to it on the street like his mother was, or a puppy can get it before they are vaccinated, which is at the youngest six weeks old, eight weeks old more typically. It is a virus that has no cure and it has very little research and Western medical support. It attacks all parts of the body. First, you notice very normal puppy symptoms that you might not think a lot of. Gastrointestinal issues, you know, diarrhea, vomiting, lack of appetite. These are things that we see in puppies quite often because they're so small and fragile and if they get into something and they're not supposed to, this could be a symptom. It causes dogs' mouths to get really tense and they can barely open their jaw. It makes them lose the ability to walk gradually so they are aware that they cannot walk. They start to get a little wobbly and then the next day they're falling down a lot until they cannot lift their head even. They become completely dependent on their caregiver, whether it is a foster, which has been me, or their adopter, which has also been me. Callaway didn't show symptoms till he was three months old, actually a month after his siblings and his mother started showing symptoms. So I was hopeful that maybe he would be able to beat it, as I've seen in the past. And then today, actually, the rescue that I work for got some comments on social media about donating to us and not getting a custom thank you letter. I wanna make this video for two reasons. One being to expose what it's like to work in rescue. It's really, really difficult and you get really attached and it doesn't matter if you've seen distemper a dozen times, it's hard every single time. We give so much of ourselves for these dogs. It takes a huge toll. And so while we are extremely appreciative of the donations that we get, we don't have the time or the energy to thank everyone individually. So number one is me thanking you guys for supporting Rescue, for continuing to donate and follow along on the transformations of these dogs. The second reason that I wanted to make this video is because distemper isn't something that um, has a lot of research in Western medicine behind it. There is a lot of experimental medicine I had to fight to get, that I had to beg vets to get. When you are trying to save an innocent puppy's life who can't do anything for themselves or speak up or fight for themselves, you fight as hard as you possibly can. I lost the support of a few people along the way, but I also met some amazing people through support groups on social media who were also going through fighting distemper alongside their dog or puppy. If you are someone who has adopted a dog or puppy or who is fostering or rescuing 
dogs with this temper. I just want to tell you that you are not alone, that there are amazing resources out there, but that there is no right or wrong answer. On June 7th, Callaway started to go downhill. He started the seizing, which many people call the neurological phase. And once a dog starts seizing, it's rare that they can turn around from it without having severe side effects. It was very apparent to me, Callaway um, was suffering. I made the very difficult decision to euthanize him. Um, I felt that that was the right thing to do. I could not bear to see him suffering anymore, and I knew that the only way um, he would be put out of this misery is if I put my attachment and feelings aside and decided to humanely euthanize. This is a decision that many people have to make, and I have to admit that during the last couple of days, I was hoping that he would pass, which feels like the worst feeling in the world when you're hoping that your three-month-old puppy will pass away, but you just don't want to be the one to play God and make that decision. I think that it's important to come out and say that I made that decision um, because a lot of people have a lot of guilt in making that decision. We have to keep pushing forward and spread the word about distemper and emphasize the importance of vaccinating your dogs and puppies so that no one else has to go through this ever again. I'm Victoria Lily Schaefer. Please email me, DM me, comment down below if you're going through distemper in any sort of way with your dog or puppy. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.